We've all heard it before. To gain something requires sacrifice. In the Old Testament, this was done with the blood of animals. But when Jesus went to the cross and died for us, he shed his blood for us once and for all, paying the ultimate sacrifice for us. So what does this mean? Well, God is our ultimate judge. Judgment is not our place, but God is a just judge. And when it's time to judge his people, he promises to look past those who have put their faith and trust in the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Not because we don't deserve the wrath of God's judgment. After all, we are still sinful, but because he is a merciful God. In the Old Testament, we see the first Passover. Here, God tells his people to smear the blood of the sacrificial lamb over the doorway of their home. And then when God's judgment came, he would pass by those who showed their faith and obedience in him. Jesus was our sacrificial lamb. He laid down his life so that we could mark our lives with his blood. This sacrifice was given freely for me and for you, but we have a part. We need to mark ourselves with the blood and the love of Christ. We need to lay down our own life, just as Christ laid down his, and pick up the empty cross, displaying the victory for all to see. You see, the blood of Christ that was shed on the cross was the final blood sacrifice required. It paid everything. His blood washes away our sin. His blood makes us clean. His blood, when we accept him, sets us free from the judgment that is due. So yes, to gain something requires sacrifice, but the sacrifice has already been paid. My prayer today is that we can accept Christ and gain all that God has in store for us.